I'm trying to adjust my seat. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Rata K coming at you with another video. So today's video is going to be me learning how to put makeup on, okay? So I watched a couple of videos, um, so I kind of sort of have an idea of what I'm supposed to do, but I don't really have a full idea, like I'm a little bit uh okay but we're gonna learn together we're going to start with my makeup and i'm going to start with the eyes and then go on with the foundation some people prefer to start with the foundation and then end with the eyes do what do you do what you want to do do what you prefer do what you're comfortable with because you know it's your look and you gotta make the most out of it so the look i'm going for today is kind of like an orangey type of look so we're going to start with that and i'm going to try like talk to you guys oh i have like mirrors around me but i'm going to be using this mirror a lot so i'm going to look down on this mirror and like try to talk to you guys at the same time because i feel like i can see myself a little bit better here so i'm going to work from here and then you guys we're just going to like chit chat and work together so first i'm going to start with the concealer and just put it um down the concealer shade i'm gonna be using is this one one is kind of like my skin shade Ooh. and then we're gonna go on with this little cute brush right here and we're gonna blend it in i'm gonna use this side some people prefer to use this side i use this side it just works better for me and i feel like i am more in control when i use that side than anything else so that's the side i'm gonna use so i'm just doing the eyebrows i did my eyebrows off camera because <laughs> i'm bad i'm so bad at doing eyebrows guys like oh my gosh it was my first time actually doing my eyebrows i feel like i did a kind of good job i usually just brush my eyebrows and i carry on about my life but for this i was like let me just try learn how to do eyebrows um eyebrows are cool oh wait let me set do we even set it up because i put concealer so i'm going to set the concealer so that it does not crease and i'm going to set it with the setting powder the setting powder i'm using is for from nyx yep that's the setting powder i'm going to be using to set my concealer on my eyelid so after I set it, I'm going to go on and go on to my eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette I'm using is this Revolution eyeshadow palette. I really love it. It's really nice. I got it as a Christmas gift, I think. Yeah, I got it as a, as a Christmas gift from my mom. Was it a birthday gift? Between a Christmas gift and a birthday gift. Okay, so these are the colors. Let me remove this. These are the colors here. As you can see, I'm more of like a reddish kind of person. So... I don't really have an orange here, but we're going to try make one. So I'm going to use this as my transition shade, and then I'm going to use that here. This is neon. So I'm going to use lean. What is that? I'm going to use lean back as my transition. Uh, I'm going to use lean back as my transi transition shade, and I'm going to use neon as my um, lip look or look look. I'm gonna go on with that color and the brush I'm gonna be using I don't really have a specific or particular brush that I use when I do my makeup on my eyes I use any brush but I would recommend that you get the proper brushes to use so that your look becomes like really really good because some brushes are not meant for certain things because they cannot blend properly but we are just gonna use what we have right so this brush is kind of dirty but i did use it for this so it it is it is the same thing so just gonna take a little bit right there like so tap it and move on so i want to try and make this video like short i don't want it to be like too long because i want you guys to watch and not get bored and not just watch and be like when is this ending 
because I know I'm, I'm like that sometimes with like long videos I'm always wondering like when are they ending like the video is fun it's not like it's boring it's just like <laughs> when is it ending because like maybe you saw another video you want to watch but at the same time you want to finish this one and this one is kind of like taking its time because it's like pretty long and you just want to like when is it ending so I'm just gonna do one eye for you guys so that it can be like shorter and then the other eye I'm gonna do it off camera so that you guys don't get bored too fast and I don't run out of things to talk about because makeup is a long process guys like if um, I'm blending you have, you have to make sure that you blend it really well because you want the look the, the thing to like stay and you don't want it to like I don't know just look weird and unblended because that is not nice not nice at all so I just applied my transitioning shade and that's the lean back right so now I'm gonna go on with the neon which is my lid color or lid shade and I will just use a brush I see I'm just gonna use this brush just to lay it down for myself really well because that's what we want to do just lay it down sorry we want to lay it down really good so I'm gonna I'm gonna go on with this neon shade I feel like it's gonna turn out pink and not orange Hmm. I don't know we will see I've never tried this look before I could use this mirror here but I you know I don't want to use it so we're just gonna use that one because now when you look at it now it kind of looks pink I don't know I see pink so <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna turn out but I'm gonna apply it with this one I think this is gonna work a little bit better for me because that one was not doing much Honestly, I felt like it was swallowing the shade <laughs> and not applying it on my eye. So that's what we're gonna do and just apply this. Um, I would love it if you guys were to try this look and just tell me like how you feel like it looks on you. Um, so far, I'm liking the mix of the colors. They don't look bad. Probably like after blending it in, then I'll be able to like how it looks well or how it looks I don't know but y'all so we were talking about skin color Ooh. Mm. I feel like you guys would see pink but I kind of see orange but that's because I don't have my glosses your girl does not have 2020 vision and I don't like wearing my glosses when I shoot my YouTube videos because I just love the way I look without glosses and I feel like it's a it's fine to love the way you look without glasses, it doesn't mean that I feel less confident with glasses on. I definitely do not because I still feel like I look beautiful, I look pretty. Um, I don't feel like I look ugly <laughs> with glasses on, but I love the, the, the way I look without them. I just feel like I look better without glasses. I feel like I look the way God intended for me to look, but at the same time, also wearing glasses is the way God intended me to look because I mean yeah so that's what I okay I'm back so my camera turned off because um, there was no space anymore so I had to delete some things but I did not do anything more to my eye because I waited for you guys because I'm annoyed so you guys like that right um <laughs> so I'm gonna go back with the brush that I put my transitioning shade with and then I'm just gonna try blend it on the top so that they can be an even transition so it doesn't look like um one shade another shade but it looks like it's blending in but I feel like it's already doing that I feel like I don't even have to do this so this is how it looks so now I'm gonna go on with eyeliner because I don't know I just want to be dramatic I'm not good at putting eyeliner I think eyeliner is the most hectic thing to learn how to put um I don't know how to put it I always get it on my eyelashes because they're like a little bit long a little bit not a lot so I want to try and do a wing hmm. okay girl but not like a dramatic one just uh still one just like a one that just it doesn't go far, so I'm just gonna take some, um, what is this, solid tape, seal tape, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on my eye so that it can guide my wing, cause, yeah, 
I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to go on. Just be a brave girl. And Ooh, I put it a little bit low. I don't think I want it that low. So... I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like it's a little bit too thick. I didn't want it to be like so thick at the end, but it is. So I'm not really liking it. Ooh. I don't know. But remember, I'm learning. I'm just learning. So I'm going to go off and do this eye off camera. Oh, so I'll see you guys when I'm done with this side. And we're gonna carry on with this video and then I'm gonna do my under eye so we can do it all at the same time and we can't finish this look because we're trying to get this look to be as short as possible call me a whack youtuber I know it I'm not a beauty guru so I had to do most things off camera because I wanted to make sure that I do it properly that you guys get the best results but one thing I did well, I put my eyelid. Oh, sorry. Okay. And then you guys come a little bit closer. Okay. So I put eyelashes off camera and I also did some gold. Me going on down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I did some gold underneath because I felt like it was too much of a monochrome look and I wanted some. Oh, pizzazz. I wanted that shine. So I used this. Uh, what is this? Wet and Wild. Um, single glitter palette or single glitter just to give me that shine underneath my eye and create something out of this look I'm going to intensify the glitter a little bit underneath my eye hopefully it works because I've got lashes on and they're really long I forgot to put some mascara underneath my lashes hmm. I feel like on the mirror I look so good when I look at myself in the mirror I'm like wow I could walk around just like this and then when I look at myself on camera, it's like, you can do better. You can do a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to go on with this. I'm using this brush. It's a, it's a brush from NYX. An NYX brush. Um, it's flat. Yeah. So it works really well for me to do that and just apply on my eyelid. So now, <laughs> we're gonna go on to foundation. I'm gonna apply this on my face, right? This is, um, what is this? This is a makeup primer to apply on my face so that my makeup, I don't know. I don't know what it does. I don't know what primer does, but I know that it's important that you put primer on. I put on a lot, sorry. Ooh, that's like literally too much. Ooh, now it doesn't wanna close. But I know it's important to put primer on your face. Mine has SPF 25. And, all right, so before I put on my foundation, what I want to do is, okay, I can't see, oh. I want to block these parts here. So I don't know if I should put my foundation first and then try block them, or I should block them now and then put my foundation on later. I mean, yeah, so I'm just gonna put concealer on now. I'm just gonna put a little bit because I just want to see what's going to happen. I'm going to put on some foundation. And I have matte foundation. I don't even know my skin type. Like, is it oily? Is it dry? I think mine is in between. I don't think it's, like, oily. I don't think it's dry. So I'm going to use this Fenty foundation. This is the 370 uh, shade. And then I'm going to go on with this Maybelline, Maybelline New York foundation. And this is the color Chestnut. Right, so I'm gonna mix them together. Yeah, so I'm mixing it. It's looking good so far. I think this one is gonna be a little bit darker.
So right now, I'm gonna go on with concealer underneath my eye. I'm gonna go with the lighter shade because I wanna like just brighten up my under eye there. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go on the sides, All right? So let's do that. I don't think I'm gonna speak. I'm just gonna fast forward because we're trying to make this video as short as possible, right? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna like try contour, try give ourselves some sweetness of <laughs> flick of the cheeks, you know, just flick those cheeks a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go in with this dark palette. So you don't want to take too much because you don't want it to be too brown, but you want to take enough so that you know it shows. <clears throat> so right there where my line is showing. That's the path we're gonna follow because we wanna flick that. Your up on contouring is so scary because it literally makes you look like, oh my gosh. You Find ways in, in which you can look the way you want to look. I find makeup to be really hard, honestly. If you guys were to ask me, like makeup is difficult. Um, but I wouldn't mind walking around looking like this every day. <laughs> I'm kidding, I would. Okay, so now we done with our contour. I mean, I didn't do much, but I did. You know, just to chisel my the side of my bones. And if you want to do it extra, you know, just to give yourself that jawline, you can always do it. So now I'm gonna go on with my blush, and this is the Kim K, um, KKW. Sorry, this is the KKW Beauty um, <clears throat> blush. Gosh, man, how do you open this? I never apply too much. Because <laughs> I'm I honestly do not like blush. Not saying I do not like to blush, but I don't know, I feel like blush honestly just ruins the look. For me, anyway. For somebody else they be like blush is the way. I'm like blush is not the way. Yeah. But blush kinda gives you life, like it brings your look like together. Yeah, I think I did put enough blush. I don't know. So now we're gonna go in with highlighter because we're gonna try highlight those cheeks, make them look chiseled. I mean, shine, make them shine. So this is the highlighter I'm going to use. Oh, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Highlighter Hustler Baby. I love this highlighter. It's awesome. It, like it does, it does the most. I would never trade it for anything. I like to share my highlighter. So I'm just gonna blend it in so that it looks really, it's not so hush on the line. I don't know if I'm making sense. I don't know, I think I'm putting blood. I mean, what is this highlighter on the wrong way? And then we're gonna put highlighter on my nose, but I'm gonna do that with my finger. All right, I'm gonna contour my nose real quick.
Okay, so now we're gonna go on with the final look, which is the lip look. I'm gonna go with the natural nude kind of lip look. So I'm gonna use this MAC, MAC lipstick. And this is the Viva Glam. I don't know, this is the Lurja. The Viva Glam MAC lipstick. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the color, but it doesn't really pop out that much. It's like a quiet color. It gives my lips color, yeah, because my lips are like a lot of a dark, so it gives my lips that needed color. Yeah, like that. It's glossy, but I'm still gonna put gloss on top. So I'm gonna go on with my Fenty gloss. Um, and this one, which one is this? This is the gloss balm. I'm gonna go on with my gloss balm, Fenty gloss balm. And we're just gonna... Before we say we are done, I'm just gonna set my face using this um, MSL um, powder foundation. Just. And then we're gonna use our setting spray and we're just gonna spray our face. So the setting spray I'm gonna use is this Rimmel London setting spray. It's an insta fix and go. So it's a primer and a setting spray. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I tied my hair up and I put a bandana which kind of matches my eye look. I enjoyed making this video. It was my first time doing a full beat face look on my channel. Um, I've done it for prom and I also did it just for practice so that I can be able to do this video. And I'm pretty proud of the job I did. I mean, I didn't, I don't look bad. So I'm really happy with the way my look turned out and I hope you guys like it too and try it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I decided to do my outro on my phone and not on my camera because my battery died because it was like low, it was flat. So I had to charge it and I was like, I was scared that I'll forget like when it's full to do the outro. So I decided let me just do it on my phone and get it over and done with so that when i do take off my makeup look and i remember later it's not like a bad thing so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below on any videos you guys would like to see me do any videos you guys would like to see me do um and i will maybe do them if not definitely do them so yeah this is the final look i love you guys to the moon and back on earth bye